Hi YouTube, StuDog here. Today we're going to be seeing which of the top two decks is more expensive. So I got the, the cool port skeleton here, just the stuff that you have to play. And then I got um, the shit all skeleton of just the main, you know, stuff that you have to play. So I mean, I got these from the top 16 deck list of ARG Rally and, you know, other stuff I've, I've seen on YouTube, you know, top 8 deck lists. So I mean... Most of the builds I've been playing, you know, three, uh, two of this, three of this, three of this, and the artifact engine should all, as I know, YCS London, you know, majority were should all artifacts, ARG, Rally, I think all three of them are should all artifacts, so we're going to be seeing which of these two is more expensive, so let's take out our handy dandy calculator over here and go and, yeah, add up some totals, so I mean... Um, yeah, so the, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to go off the low price right here and just going to type that in because, you know, these, the low price, you know, on a lot of these cards is actually lower than what you can actually get them for. So, skill drain, 4 times 3, 12. I'm just going to go, uh, no, that'll be nice. I'll say they only play 2, so I'll just go 8. So I'll do 12, or no, 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 what am I saying? 8. <laughs> So, yeah, 4 times 2 is 8. Last time I checked. 8, you got disc. They were all playing 3 discs from what I've seen, so that's 56 times 3. So we're going to add 3 more 56s. Yeah, it's better if I type it. <laughs> cool port scout is around 27. I'll do 27 for all 3. So we'll add 27 plus 27 plus 27. Sacrifice, they were playing 3 on the builds I saw. So let's add another 17. So... 17, 17, 17. Let's go for carrier. I do a buck fifty on each, even though you probably can't get them for that much. So I do. Just because I'm a nice guy like that. Buck fifty for the carriers. Summoner's art, I'll do 25, so that'll be 75 total. Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon, that's like 20. They were only playing two, so I'll just add 40. And then Vanity's Emptiness. Um, they were playing like two from what I saw, so I just add uh, a good old 60. So the main cool port skeleton is gonna be drum roll, please. Around only uh 485, 87.50. and fifty cents. So not that much money. I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, <laughs> just kidding. That's way too much money for a deck. There's no way I could afford that. No way. So let me go write this down on a piece of paper. Got. Four hundred and eighty-seven dollars and fifty cents. This is just for the skeleton. This isn't counting, you know, staples and you know, extra deck and stuff like that. So, there you go. That's cool port for you guys. <laughs> now let's go on to lovely shit all artifacts. So, starting with the artifact engine, artifact sanctums around. Oh god, just because I'm a nice guy, I'll do it thirty a piece. So, ninety. Plus, more tarks are not that cheap. So I'll do 5 a piece. So 5, 10, 15. Plus 15 mathematicians. Uh, some builds are playing 3, some are playing 2. I'll just do 2. So I'll add another 30 there. El Shadal Fusion, that's like 12 a piece. So I'll add 24 Shadal Fusion. Some builds are playing 2, some are playing 3. I think most are playing 3, so I'll just add another 30. Sinister Shadow Games, I mean, this card's really good in my opinion, so I don't know why you wouldn't play three of it. So, I mean, if it is going for $20, which was less than what it was, I mean, whoop de doo so I'll add another 60 there. Going on to the extra deck, El Shadal Construct, they're mainly playing three of these, and one Winda, and one Shikinaga. That's from some builds I see, but I mean, personally, I think most builds are playing two Winda, though, so I don't know. I just do, well, I know... A lot of I heard from a lot of shit all players that you have to play three constructs. So I mean, if that is going for seven, I mean I'll just add twenty one to our total. Winda, I mean I'm pretty sure they're playing two, so I'll just add another forty. And then Shiki Naga, close enough to ten, so I'll just add ten. And it turns out to be only three hundred and twenty dollars, which isn't that much compared to compared to Quillport, which is four hundred and eighty seven dollars and fifty cents to three hundred and twenty dollars. So I mean. The cheaper out of these two decks is Shadals. I mean, they're both really just way too much money just for pieces of compressed paper or cardboard. But, I mean, still, they're collector's items. They're hard to get, and people value them. So, I mean, just want to do this quick video just to see, you know, how much money, you know, it would take to, you know, buy the 
the just regular skeletons of these top decks in the game right now. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope hope you learned something new. If you want me to do uh, another part, like another part two, like when I feature Burning Abyss with all those Dantes and Virgils and all that expensive stuff, then be my. Oh yeah, I forgot to add the emptiness on this. Dang, because aren't Shadows playing emptiness? Yeah, I forgot. So so if you're playing emptiness and Shadows, I'll add another sixty. You know. Make the 380. I can't believe I forgot to do that, but yeah, most shadows are playing emptiness. Some aren't. So I mean, if you're gonna play the emptinesses, then that'll be a good old 380 dollars. But I mean, still cheaper than Cool Port by around 100 to 150 dollars. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you enjoyed, and until next time, this is Stew Dog signing out.